As a staunch monarchist, I never imagined that a member of the firm would do so much damage to the institution that means so much to so many of us. But it's not just the damage to the monarchy as an institution that's so hard to see and hear, though in fairness I try not to see or hear anything from that direction. Prince Harry also went into self-destruct mode with an institution, he says. He cares a lot and it's military. The rude comments in his forthcoming book Spare about his actions in Afghanistan have a number of consequences. First of all, for a man who says he wants to protect his family, he is incredibly reckless in his comments about the killing of 25 Taliban insurgents. He said he doesn't see them as people, but as pawns that need to be eliminated. Of course, all soldiers need to rationalize their actions in battle, but this is no ordinary soldier. This is a member of the British royal family, many of whom have served with distinction in various theatres of war, even his uncle Prince Andrew, to my knowledge, kept his advice alive in about his active service in the Falklands War. Harry, however, exposed what happened in Afghanistan for a fairly large sum of money, regardless of the consequences. Not surprisingly, the Taliban responded to this, and I have to say that it is saying something when the Taliban appear reasonable in their response to something said by a member of our royal family. In my opinion there is no doubt that Harry is now putting his own family at risk of retaliation. Not only did he endanger his own immediate nuclear family, but he also spectacularly disappointed the military family, who we believe thought highly of him, with his down-to-earth attitude to service. Various military analysts and former leaders have expressed opinions ranging from pity to disgust. Not a good image for a man who values empathy, camaraderie, and humility. At last he has disappointed the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Strength with your comments. The current commander-in-chief is of course his father, and as a father, I can only imagine the pain his father is going through at this early stage in his reign. The king is a good and kind man, and I am so sad that his son was able to treat him like this. But for 70 years our commander-in-chief was Her Late Majesty the Queen, and I am grateful she is not on this earth to see the collapse of her beloved grandson. We are told that the Late Majesty was very fond of Harry, and greatly enjoyed his sense of fun.